Hi, my name is Hugo Montali. I have an internet program and I speak about movie cinemas all day. And French, it's the pioneer of the cinema. How you feel to represent the uh, French movies in Rio? I I feel very honored and also I feel very moved because it's my first feature. So it's also like representing uh, my generation uh, coming to accessing the the making of feature films. So it's very joyful and very very impressive and. And I'm very honored, yeah. And I'm graduated in movie school, in film school. And I know in Brazil it's really hard to make a movie. Uh, sometimes we need to uh, political support, the government support. How the reality to make a movie in France? Uh, France still has a system that really... Uh, protects and helps uh, young filmmakers, first features, uh, auteur cinema, but it's like it's always very, very uh, threatened by political changes, and so it's still existing, but it's really fragile, and we have to take extra care of it, I think. Um, But yeah, we still have a system that encourages uh, cinema experimentations and, and that is quite supportive. Okay, and for finish, tell us about your movie, what it's your inspiration, why you do that movie. Uh, it's a movie about a mother and a son. Uh, the mother, Mona, uh, has always lived with her son, uh, Joel, who is almost 30. And they always live together because Joel has uh, an intellectual disability and he, she feels, and probably he feels, that he can't live by, by himself by himself, sorry, but he live, He works in a, a specialized facility in France and he has um, a lover there whose name is Océane and Océane uh, gets pregnant. So it's the story of this young couple but almost, uh, uh, most of all uh, the story of the mother and son duo Uh, transforming with this very unexpected news and how the mother deals with the, the change she didn't see coming. And why you, and why you do this movie? Who is your inspiration? I, I actually met uh, a mother and her daughter when I was younger. I, as a teenager, I worked a bit with my mom, who was a nurse and she worked in a, in an elderly facility and uh, there was this woman who was like 80 and, and her daughter Yolande who was like 60 and they were they always lived together like Mona and Joel and the mother was like um, very protective but also in huge conflict with her daughter and Yolande her daughter was disabled, had had a little uh, yeah, intellectual disability and I thought um, this very complex, very loving, very resentful uh, relationship was really a, an image of what family is. It's like a mixture of very strong and antagonist feelings. So they were my first inspiration. So we can say it's livery inspired in real facts or no? Yeah, it is because actually I spent a lot of time in, in specialized facilities in France with um, disabled workers. Um, we shared a lot about their stories. Some of them had families. Some of them wished they had. And it was really... Yeah, it's inspired by a lot of people. It concerns a lot of people. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.